Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I had a lot of cleaning to do, just catching up after redoing our kitchen. And I started out by putting some essential oils in my diffuser and also dumping some white vinegar into my coffee maker to clean it out. Next, I just had a pan left from breakfast and I used my Bluebell Mrs. Meyers dish soap to clean it and also my scrub brush from Grove. I love this thing. I am just amazed I have survived without it before this. <laughs> This is my Norwex bottle brush. I really love it. It's designed to prevent bacteria from growing in the bristles. So it's pretty much something you can use for a very long time without pitching. So that's a walnut scrubber from Grove. And then this is the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser in lemon verbena. And I'm just scrubbing out my sink and I just let it sit for a little bit like this. While I'm letting it sit, I put my spray nozzle into some white vinegar um, just to get the hard water out of the end of it. Towards the end of the video, I'll show you the result of it. Um, but yeah, I let it sit in there a good part of the day. You'll see here I put it back into the cup. Next, I got my Caldra countertop spray, and this is the sea salt something. I can't remember the full name of it, but it smells so good. And just spray down my countertops and wipe them down from breakfast and just doing things this morning. Duo. This is a mini Enviro cloth with the window cloth to clean my stainless steel. It does such a good job on this, you guys. I'm serious. It keeps it very streak free. And then, of course, the glass on the front of my stove. I just use the same thing. And as always, if you guys want to know more about Norwex, I'll leave links below. Then I just ran upstairs and really quick took our sheets off of our bed um, to get them into the washer so that they would be done by the time the day was over. And this is the Caldra Linen Spray. I am obsessed with linen sprays. I all of a sudden just discovered that there was such a thing and it smells so good on our bed after I use that. So to wash the sheets, I just used a Method laundry detergent and the Method fabric softener. Both of them work excellent. To clean out my refrigerator, I'm just using a Grove microfiber cloth and a Method antibacterial spray. Always remember that when you guys spray with the antibacterial spray, you want to let it set for 10 minutes. After I let it set, I just really wiped everything out really well and it was in real need of this. My refrigerator was getting kind of grimy and so I feel so much better now that it's all done. I wash the outside the handle and again let it set for 10 minutes before you wipe it off. The bottle explains it all. I'm using my Norwex Duo again on my glass. Um, this window gets so grimy from my little one's fingerprints and honestly most of our windows that they can reach um, they love to look out them, so of course their little hands and noses get against them all the time. Next, I just wanted to sweep out this couch. Um, it has cushions that come out, and that's actually a sleeper couch. And so, of course, there's lots of crumbs and little things that end up down inside the couch.
This is a reclining couch, so I just swept off the top of it. And I love when I'm done cleaning the living room to just spray down the couches with the linen spray. It makes it smell wonderful in there. So this is the same scent as the linen spray and I just decided to wipe everything down in the living room. Um, they put their little snacks and things on this table and it gets kind of dirty and everything just needed a really good dusting. I'm actually using a Grove microfiber cloth. Then here I just did the lower part of this shelf just because that's where a lot of little hands get. Then I got a Mr. Clean eraser and just cleaned this wall. It was getting really splattered up. The high chairs are not far from this area so whenever food gets flung it often lands here. And also the trash can just being there, you know how it is. Your trash can is dirty and dirt ends up on the areas around it. So I decided today that my kitchen floor was in need of real scrubbing. So I decided to wash it by hand and move our table, which actually is on the emptier side right now because I just did some decluttering. So it was pretty simple to move and you can see why I moved it. Next, I just took the Geranium Mrs. Myers cleaner. I don't have any concentrate cleaners right now, so I just gave a healthy dose to the sink. And I'm also using a walnut scrubber from Grove. better believe that I threw this scrubber out when I was all done with this floor. It was so gross. I don't do this very often. I mean, it pretty much happens once in a blue moon, but I definitely saw how dirty the floors were and I feel so much better that they are done and I know every little inch of it is done. And this is what the nozzle looks like. It was really caked up before. I wish I would have got a before shot, but I didn't. But I want to thank you guys for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.